Okay, hello everyone. So uh, today uh, let's uh, discuss now about uh, the Philippines and the admission confinements and classifications of inmates. So this is uh, the continuation of our previous topic. No? So in our subject, the uh, institutional correction. So let's start. Uh, before uh, the admission, you know, we all know the seven penal institution of the Philippine history of early prisons. So, diba, we discussed na, we discussed na na nato in a previous uh, video about uh, the seven penal institutions in the Philippines. So, the first is the New Believed Prison in Muntinlupa City. And the second one, the Correctional Institution for Women in Mandaluyong City. And Iwahig Prison and Penal Farm in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. The Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm in Occid Occidental Mindoro. The San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm in Sambonga City. The Leyte Regional Prison in Abuyog Leyte. And the Dabao Prison and Penal Farm in Panabo, Dabao Province. So... Before the admission and confinement of the uh, inmates, so uh, kung asa ang mas dool sa iya, kung asa siya ang, ang best nga para sa iya ang uh, i-confine, no, nga prisons, so ari magpili lang ani nga pito, no, kining seven institution, and including the new believed prison. So, ang New Believed Prison uh, operates two satellite units. Now, these camps are located a few hundred meters back of the New Believed Prison. So, kini siya uh, always ni na itong uh, mine nga kaya ganit siya during our time, nga was sa board exam. So, kini uh, ito ang dabukang liwayway or camp houses uh, minimum secretaries, prisoners work on various projects and institutions. So, ang gi house aning bukang liwayway is mostly uh, tananjud is uh, the minimum security prisoners. And the second one is the Kam Sampagita. Ang gi house po aning Kam Sampagita is uh, the medium security prisoners, prisoners and are located near the reception and the diagnostic center and the youth uh, rehabilitation center. So ato lang ni timanan nga once mo mingot ag bukang liwayway ang gi house na mga prisoners are those are minimum security risk prisoners ang ang naa sa kam sa pagita are those prisoners nga medium security then moving to the admission and confinements and classification of inmates so uh, it's not just an administrative apparatus of control but to harmonize the inherent disparity or class to class to harmonize the inherent disparity of class uh, by nature of its congenital character or by distinction and not uh, by discrimination. So uh, during the admission and confinement, uh, kailangan tanawon gina kung kanang tao is maubagi na ang yung records, maubani siya ang yung pangalan. So, before the admission, before na dawaton sa prisoners, so kailangan gina nila nga surbihon tanan ang iyang background, personal identification, kung maubigin na nga siya nga uh, tao or prisoner. Now, who is the prisoner? Uh, we all know, we all knew that a prisoner is a person uh, in legal custody charged with a crime or an offense. So, katong mga tao nga na charged with crime no, or offense. No? Uh, in broad sense, any person unlawfully restrained of his liberty or unlawfully detained from his proper custody. Any person who is being held in a confinement against his will, a captive detained as a place of confinement is a prisoner. So, muna siya ang prisoner. And then, admission and confinement of inmates, so there shall be a reception. Muna ako yung kanina. And the diagnostic center money ang mudawat uh, sa prisoners. So in every prisoners we shall receive study and classify inmates and detainees committed to the bureau. 
upon admission in the reception and diagnostic center, an inmate shall be placed in the quarantine for at least five days. So before na siya no, i, uh, receive no? sa so diagnostic center, i-quarantine pa na siya in five days. Na naman, basin dahi kung na, na siya sakit, no? So, kailangan pa na siya i-quarantine para mahibaw, mahibuan kung kung bagin unsa na siya nga klase nga inmates. And the registration. So, a prison shall keep a bound registration book where all commitments shall be recorded chronologically. So, i-record yun na. So, Bawa niya ang mga i-record, no? Sa uh, during the registration the name oh, sa pangalan ng inmates syempre tanawon gyud na kung siya ba gyud ano, ang gipad, ang gipadala gidala dito sa uh, prison institution ang pangalan nya reason for commitment and authority so sentence sa sentensya then date and hour of admission is what na then an date and hour of discharge and or transfer of basis uh, therefore so if the inmates brings any drugs or medicine, the medical officer on duty shall decide on to its disposition, narcotics, and all other prohibited drugs or sub substance, the position and order of which are punishable under our laws, no, all types of weapons, substance, or chemical that may cause injury to a person, and any item or article in which an inmate is not allowed to possess, under prison rules shall be considered as contraband items no, and subject for conf confiscation. So kung nagay mga gipandala ang inmates no ngadto sa uh, prison institution of course mana gitaw uh, kontraban example kaning weapons or mga chemical substance no mana gitaw kontraban so daghan kayo mga uh, labi na ko mga drugs na so i confiscate na siya there will be a search no i search na dito ang prisoners before na siya uh, dawaton kay mo na gitawag o kontraban so mo na ang nahitabo uh, during the admission then is once of uniform so once nga ang, ang inmates na no, prisoners na nasa institution there will there will be an is once of uniform so the newly admitted inmate shall be given an issue of two regulations uniform suits and two t-shirts whenever predictable they shall also be issued in the following items the uh, one blanket, uh, one mat, one mosquito net, one net mesquite, one pair of sleeper. No, nindot, nindot o may tabo ni satanan na prison institution, pero na siguro ang uban, uh, wala, wala yun din nga ni, dili yun kompleto. But the standard yun sa ito ang prison institution, magin ni siya ang uh, ihatag. Then let's uh, go to the classification, no? board no we have the classification board so in every prison institution shall have a classification board which shall classify inmates in accordance with the correctional operating manual so unsa man ni ang compose sa classification board so mo ni siya the following no chairman with the superintendent uh, vice chairman mo ni ang chief reception and diagnostic center and the members the medical officer and uh, chief Education section, Chief Agro Industries section secretary, manang Chief Overseer. So general classification of prisoners. So arita sa uh, classification of the prisoners. So naigitaw ng sentence prisoners. So the word sentence has assumed special meaning in our statutes to specially refer to judgment, no, rendered by the court in a criminal case. A judgment or sentence is final executory or no appeal lies therefore. Kana bitaw ang usa ka uh, inmates or magitawag ni siya nag undergo trial tapos na convicted na, na final executory na so na final judgment na na sentence sentence sentensyahan na ang iyang kaso so mo na gitawag sentence prisoner final finally convicted na siya nya mo na nga dadun na didto sa prison institution so, uh, the next one is detention prisoner. So, ang detention prisoner is a prisoner is detained when he is placed in confinement or when there is a restraint or on this person. 
So, ang kaning detention prisoner, uh, wala pa ni siya na kon finally convicted, no? Uh, ongoing pa niyang iyahang trial. So, while the sentence prisoner is na final executory na, o na final judgment na, na, na sentensya na siya, well, detention prisoner is uh, undergoing a uh, trial pa. So, there are three, no? We have three general classifications of jail inmates. Uh, first is a sentence prisoner, um, na na, person who are convicted by final judgment of the crime charged against them, no? Convicted na siya. So, nasentensyahan na siya sa korte. Then, detention, no? Person who are detained of violation of law or denounced and have not yet convicted. So, wala pa na convicto. Meaning, nag-undergo pa og trial. So, the last one is that person held for investigation or as safekeeping, no? Detained siya because uh, nag-undergo investigahan or, or for safekeeping. Muna ang ikatulo. And then, we have a classification as to sentence. No, so we discussed this in our uh, previous videos. No, the municipal jail prisoner, the one who is sentenced to serve imprisonment from one day to six months, and the city jail prisoner, one who is sentenced to serve uh, imprisonment of from one day to three years. No, then provincial jail prisoner, one who shall serve the sentence of imprisonment from six months and one day to three years. And the last one is the national or the insular prisoner, one who is sentenced to a prison term from three years and one day to death sentence. The inmate shall be assigned of the following security groups. So, atuning always nga memorize as soon as uh, early kay, oh, during our verdict sum, gawa sa nisya kaning mga gitawag o prison term no about aning uh, uh, mga prisoners so muna nga dapat ato ning memorize and the uh, classification of inmates as to security status uh, na igitawag og maximum security medium security and minimum security so ang maximum security this shall include highly dangerous or security risk inmates as determined by the classification who are required a high degree of control and supervision. So, mo ni mga hidden uh, criminals, mga ngilingig ng mga uh, criminals, ng mga kuyaw ni mga tawana, mo ni kita maximum security uh, uh, prisoners. Na. The next one is uh, medium security. Mo sa ni, uh, uh, they shall include those who cannot be trusted, no? in less secured areas and those who conduct or behavior require minimum supervision under this category. So, kini mga medium security uh, risk uh, diligay po ni sila masaligan. No? Muna nga close diha po ng supervision ani nila. Then the next one is minimum security. So, they shall include those who can be reasonably trusted to serve their sentence under less restricted conditions. So, kini mga most most mostly aning minimum security is mga trusted na ni sila na dili na kayo uh, dili na kayo hugot ang pagbantay aning la because nakita na sa ato ang uh, classification board nga kaning mga klase sa inmates is masaligan na og dili na nimo iskapo dili nimo uh, takas no sa prison institution so pero kanang maximum security agrabi ah, ang pagbantay ang mga prisoners kay mo na mga ngilingig no nga klase nga mga uh, criminals and uh, of offenders uh, or inmates then let's move to the color of uniform as to security classification so the color of uniform of an inmate shall be based on his security classification so ang color sa ilahang uniform bin, magbase po na sa ilahang uh, security classification so kung maximum security uh, ang isuot ana nila kung nakabantay mo makita na to sa salida o makita na to sa YouTube no nga ang maximum security is tangerine so kanang tangerine most uh, kanang orange mo na siya tangerine and uh, medium security uh, blue 
blow ang ilang uh, isuot, ilang sinina. And then, ang minimum security, brown. Then, ang detainee, green na siya. Muna ang always na itong uh, itiman na, no? I-memorize na ito ni mga uniform sa prisoners. Then, the diversification concept and importance. So, let's move to the diversification. So, it's an administrative device of correctional institution of providing varied and flexible types of physical plan. The more effective control of the treatment programs of its diversified population. So, sa ni ka pamaagi or treatment nga more effective no sa ngatu sa mga inmates na usa ka programs nga mas gipa gipa improve no gipa mo ni kita og diversification nga more on programs nga mas makaayo ngatu sa usa ka inmates. Then classification of inmates as to entitlement to privilege. So detainee, no, the first, second one is third class inmate, one who has either been either been previously committed for three or more times a sentenced inmate, except those in prison for non-payment or fine of those who have been reduced from highest class. The next one, second class inmate. No, a newly arrived inmate, an inmate demoted from class inmate or promoted from three class inmate. Then first class inmate, so one whose known character and credit for work while in detention earn assignment to this class upon commencement of sentence or one who has been promoted. From class, so those are the classification of inmates. So take note of that. And the next one is the confinement and accommodation of inmates. So place of confinement. So is an inmate shall only be confined in a place declared by the president of the Philippines or by executive order to the place of confinement or national inmates or by specific direction of the court. Provided that a male inmate shall be committed directly to us, shall be confined in prison nearest his actual place of residence. So man ako ingon nga kung sa asay mas dool, no adun ang sa ka asay mas dool sa sa ka inmates, so adun na siya dito i confine. Security compound, no. So a prison shall wherever possible have a separate prison compound for the segregation of inmates according to their Security classification. Its prison compound shall be under a superintendent who is assisted by an inmate superintendent. So that's the security compound. The next one is the separate facilities. Where facilities permit, there shall be separate dormitories to house inmates under the following categories. Final sentence inmates. The dead convicts. Inmates who, by reason of their criminal record, are likely to exercise a passive influence to their inmates, detainees, youth offenders, or those below 18 years of age, and first offenders. So, kana siya is separate din ng facilities. So, ang mga youth offenders, first offenders, detainee, sa mga criminal na mga criminal record or kato mga habitual criminals, habitual delinquents. So, separate facilities na sila, dili na siya iipon nga to sa prison institution. And habitual delinquents. So, next one, in firm age, invalids and final convicted inmates whose physical condition sure is to impair their mobility. So, katong na yung mga physical condition, ilahi po na siya. Do suffering from mental disorder or abnormality abnormality, including sexual deviates, female offenders, lahilahig niya po na katong mga na ay diferensya sa pangisip, katong mga female offenders, ilahisad niya. Labi na ang mga drug dependents, ilahig niya po na siya, and foreign national. So, there will be classified, there will be separated, and housed in terms of housing of the inmates. So, Of course, those who are members of cultural minorities. 
the prison accommodation standard. So all accommodation for the use of all inmates shall meet the requirements of sanitation and hygiene with emphasis on adequate ventilation, living space and lighting, bathrooms and washing areas shall be provided in every prison facility. So all areas regularly used by inmates uh, be properly maintained and keep clean at all times. Bed and clothing shall be nearly made up in uniform manner at all times. Building occupied by all inmates must be disinfect at least once a month. So, ang mga facilities po sa prison uh, for them to accommodate uh, uh, their accommodation, accommodation standards. So, napo na siya kita ng maintenance, no? So, uh, facilities uh, para po uh, convenient po ang, ang mga prisoners during their uh, rehabilitation or treatment. Then youth camps. Uh, the Bureau of Prisons shall maintain agricultural and forestry camps where youth offenders may serve their sentence and lay of confinement in prison. So we have next a transfer of inmates. So an inmate may be transferred by the prison director upon the recommendation of the superintendent concerned to another prison facility. To bring said inmate closer to family or part of his, his rehabilitation program. So, kung asa ang mas dool uh, sa inmate, kung mas dool siya sa asa ang institusyon, kung mas dool siya sa ang family, so, uh, pwede siya i-transfer, of course, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, superintendent of the prison uh, institution. So, transfer of an insane inmate, so, an inmate who has been confirmed to be mentally abnormal or insane may be transferred to mental hospital with approved the prison director. So, kung nai deprensya ang kanang inmate na psychological problem or na si problema siya ang pangutok, no? siya ang pangisip. Uh, of course, uh, i-transfer na siya into a, into a mental hospital with, with a recommendation and approval for Japan sa a prison uh, director. So, outside movements of inmates. So, the superintendent of the prison may authorize an inmate to be taken out uh, of prisons in the following instance. So, to appear in court or another or other government agency as directed by the competent authority no? for medical examination or treatment or hospital, hospitalization is an outside clinic or hospital. And to view the remains of deceased relatives. So, mo siya ang pwede ni makagawas, no? Ang usaka inmates sa institution. Na pwede siya kung mo sa court, no? And for treatment, no? For medical examination or hospitalization, of course, to view uh, the remains. So, kung naa siya yung mga family, our friends, relatives ni, uh, relatives niya, or member of their family nga namamat, mamunay mamatay, of course, pwede makagawas ang inmates sa prison institution para makakita siya uh, sa iyahang uh, gitawag remains, no? This is relative. So, approval by the Secretary of Outside Movement. So, na po approval, no? Prior to the approval of the Secretary of, of Justice shall be required for the outside movements uh, on, uh, a uh, new believed prison or the correctional institution for women and made shall provided in paragraph ABC. Uh, outside movements of dead convicts or a dead convict shall not be allowed to leave his place of confinement except for the urgent treatment or diagnosis of a life threatening or serious ailments if the diagnosis cannot be done or the treatment in prison hospital. So, monikitawag outside movements, no? And we have here the basis of court appearance. No? So the court appearance or shall be based on subpoena issued by the court as endorsed by the director. Court appearance of life termer or dead convicts, no inmate sentence to death or life imprisonment confined in the NBP shall be brought outside the said prison for appearance or attendance in any court except when the Supreme Court authorized by the presiding judge or the said court upon proper application to effect the transfer of the inmates. So those are the basis of court appearance. Then we have there here the application 
to view the remain of disease no, relative with supporting documents. So, kung mo dili po da basta basta da po makagawas no, so, para makakita lang sa o, sa remains no, sa mga relatives, sa inmates na da po uh, application. So, a minimum or medium security inmates may be upon written application be allowed by the superintendent to view the remains of the following relative upon written application and submission of the original and certified true copies of the death certificate, the burial permits, and the following documents. So, the mga documents that you can prepare is submit para uh, makabiu uh, to the remains of the inmates. And when the file application, so the as a money file or the application to the view of remains of this relative and all its supporting documents shall be filed with the superintendent at least two days before, no? Before, ha? Two days before the enjoyment of the privilege. Uh, so, so, before siya makakita, before the schedule na yung mo addon siya sa, mo view sa remains sa yung relatives, so kailangan mo file siya two days before, no? And we have the du duration of privilege. So, the inmate may be allowed more or less three hours to view the deceased relative in the place where uh, the remains lie in state but shall not be allowed to pass any, any other plan in transit or to join funeral cortege. So, money duration uh, privilege, then distance of travel. So, the privilege may be enjoyed only if the deceased relative is in place within the radius of 30 kilometers. Now, by road from prison, where the distance is more than 30 kilometers, the privilege may be extended it and the inmates can leave and return to his place of confinement during the day of the same date. No, kung mo exceed the of 30 kilometers, so dapat, no, na mubalik the with the same date. Modine condition sa uh, travel, distance of travel. Then, prison labor. Uh, prison labor or finally convicted inmates are finally convicted able bodies Bodied inmates may be required to work at least eight hours a day, uh, except on Sundays. No, pwede de po sila ano, mot, uh, makatrabaho no? eight hours a day, except sa uh, Sundays and legal holidays. And about the prison public buildings, grounds, roads, and other public works of the national government in the inherent interest of the service, however, however, they may be requ required to work on expected holidays. So, prison labor of detainee. A detainee may not be required to work in prison. However, he may be made to polish his cell and perform such other labor as may be deemed necessary for hygienic or sanitary reasons. So, that's, those are the prison labor. So, another one, we have the agreement of certification as part of prison record. So, female inmates, no, a female inmate shall only be assigned to work on jobs suitable to her age and physical conditions. So, the female inmate shall be sur supervised only by women officers. So, kung female inmates sana siya, of course, uh, mag-supervise sana those are uh, women officers. But then, all the inmates and inmate over 60 years of age may be excused from mandatory labor. So, kung senior na na siya, so dili na dyan siya pwede patrabaho on. So, place of work assignments, so only medium and minimum security inmates may be assigned to work in agricultural field projects within a prison reservation. Maximum security inmates shall not be allowed to work outside the maximum security compound. So, since katong mga maximum security diligin na sila ay allow nga mo work, no? Kay, uh, ang ilahang ang security na is grabe to do bantay yun na kay uh, maximum security, mga hidden criminals man sila mga ngilig na mga prison, prisoners. So, ang i-allowed lang nga mo trabaho sa gawas, uh, those are a uh, minimum and medium security inmates. Then, work programs shall be conducted in prisons to promote good work, no habits and self-esteem among inmates and not as a means of exploit cheap prison labor or as a punishment for deviant behavior. So, these are the now work programs uh, conducted in prisons. Then we have the compensation credits, no? Nade po sila as well do, no? Inmates compensation. So six months after being permanently assigned to work in prison, an inmate may receive compensation at rates to be prescribed by the prison director provided. No, he maintains good conduct. No, he shows interest and definite degree of progress in the particular work assigned. 
Oh. And then we have the compensation credits, which shall be maybe a payment from those classified on workmanship as may be prescribed by the director. And keeping of work records of inmates. No, uh, record shall be kept of inmates showing the workmanship classification of skills and semi-skilled grades. So the credits occurring to it shall be made monthly in accordance with the approved recommendation and of the committee name of their purpose of a copy of the committee recommendation duly approved by the director and or superintendent shall be furnished to the commission on audit for its information in connection with its duty of supervising the proper accountability of the fund credit created and credited to it shall be part of the inmates trust fund. Then we have the compensation earned how applied. So the whole or part of the compensation credits earned by an inmate may be forfeited and applied to the payment of supplies and equipment loss or damage resulting from the inmates misconduct or willful negligence. So one half said earning may be utilized by the inmates to purchase purchase some of his needs. No, that's how the compensation earned uh, to the inmates. Then the remainder shall be withheld to be paid to him upon release only. So in exceptional case, however, upon satisfactory showing of a necessity for withdrawal, the director of the superintendent may authorize the disbursement of part of the amount retained. So with, we have the withdrawal of earning. So the inmate uh, at any withdrawal from his compensation earning in an amount exceeding one half of his total earning. So, however, in case of urgent need and at the de de discretion of the superintendent, the whole of his earning may be withdrawn, but he may be at any time withdraw any part of all monies received from the other sources. So, depending on no, sa approval sa superintendent kay tanawon pa man sang iyang performance. So that's one of the qualification of withdrawal of earning. And that's it, uh, my dear uh, friends, my dear students. So I hope that you learned something on this video. And uh, this video is about you know, the admission, confinement, and classification of inmates. And thank you for watching. And uh, I just want to uh share with you this uh, video uh, just to have an additional uh, information and knowledge in this uh, subject so thank you so much for uh, supporting in this uh, channel and i hope that you will always uh, uh, support you know? thank you for the likes and this, especially those who subscribe this uh, uh, video so thank you so much and see you next time everyone. Bye bye. God bless you all.